Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Yusman. I'm a self-taught programmer and in this video I want to share with you my story of becoming a self-taught programmer and as well as give you some useful tips and tricks which you can follow if you are considering to switch your current job and enter into the tech industry. But before that, if you are looking for some nice tutorials about web development, make sure you check out my channel and start learning now by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. And back to the topic today, how did I manage to become a self-taught programmer and why did I choose to become a programmer? Well, the year was 2019, I was working as a customer service representative for a relatively big company based in the UK and um, the company was nice, the people were nice, but the job was very stressful and I didn't like it at all. I didn't see any further perspective for personal development and it was time for me to start looking for something new, uh, something more perspective and something that um, would be more valuable in the future. So at this point I had a friend who was working as a web developer and I asked him how much time it takes for an average person to become a self-taught developer and is it hard at all and you know things like this just uh, random things and he said that uh, it's really possible to become a developer but you need to dedicate a lot of time and efforts and um, you know uh, you need to have a big motivation so I was like fine uh, let me try so I started looking for some courses and tutorials on Udemy on YouTube I learned basics of HTML CSS and JavaScript and I have to admit that I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting and challenging at the same time because um, I had to combine it with work, which was uh, difficult at uh, some point because uh, you are working eight hours per day in a stressful job and then in the evening you have to study uh, things that you don't understand sometimes and you need to concentrate a lot and uh, it was very stressful, I have to admit. Um, and this is the key things that you need to uh, know if you are considering to become a self-taught programmer that uh, you need to be able to dedicate certain amount of time from your agenda um, whether it will be one hour per day two hours per day or four or eight hours in general the more you dedicate the better is for you because uh, that way the faster you will learn and the faster you will get your first job and it took me like two years from the moment I started learning programming to the moment that I got my first job in a real company and that takes usually around one year, year and a half, maybe two in my case uh, that depends on the person and how much time you are ready to dedicate to programming and now I want to share with you a couple of tips and things I wish I knew when I started learning programming. Tip number one, if you are considering to become a self-taught programmer, you need to be able to dedicate certain amount of time per day. And the rule is, the more time you dedicate into studying, the faster you will get your first job. Tip number two, you have to decide in the earlier stages of your learning process, what type of programmer you wanna be, whether you wanna be a full stack developer, uh, you wanna be a front end developer, or you wanna be a back end developer, and why you need to know this is because if you know exactly what type of programmer you want to be, you will be able to concentrate on that particular stack of technologies related to this job and that way you can learn them faster because what might happen is you might start with PHP which is used as a backend language in backend development and you let's say you dedicate a lot of time into PHP and what happens is that at some point you say oh I don't want to be a back-end developer I don't like it I don't like PHP anymore I want to try front-end and you try front-end and you like JavaScript and HTML and CSS and uh, the time you dedicated into learning PHP it will not be wasted but uh, it's still better to know what you want to learn what you want to be uh, because that can save you time and finally what I want to share with you is believe in yourself never give up because programming is hard and not everyone can do it and at some points you might feel frustrated and demotivated but you need to know that even the most experienced programmers they feel that they don't know everything so don't be afraid of this just be calm and study and learn so that was my story today guys i really hope you enjoyed it i hope that my story uh, motivated some of you if that's the case i'm very happy 
make sure you leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next videos